5 Ways to Increase Teachers' Confidence in Class, Useful Strategies You Need to Be Self-Assured This topic excites me the most as I am seeing myself becoming a teacher in the coming future, so why not explore it? As a teacher being confident can improve the overall effectiveness of the class, because it's very easy and quick to judge the teacher's confidence by the student. Lack of confidence can lead to issues with classroom management. Whether it is someone's first teaching job or someone who is well experienced, everyone feels a bit nervous sometime or the other because of various reasons especially when you meet new challenges, the education landscape shifts or you find you need to make changes to your teaching practice. There are some simple things that one can do to feel more confident while standing in front of students, which will also add more effectiveness to your teaching. 1. Be prepared with a plan. Every lesson that has to be taught should have clear goals to achieve by the end of the lesson. Planning is very important as it helps to know what to be done next. It also ensures a good balance of activities and study, so that student engagement is more, which is a sign of a confident teacher. Planning includes anticipating the challenges of particular classes. Planning doesn't mean being rigid one should be flexible as some unexpected changes occur. 2. Relax and slow down. There will be times when student questions will put you on the spot, even the most senior instructor may face such a challenge. In such situations the confident and wise instructor will not panic. For any teacher there's no shame in telling a student that you aren't sure and will get back to them, if you simply need a little more time to think your answer through, you can return to the topic at the end of the lesson. 3. Do not try to be a perfectionist. One doesn't need to teach perfect lessons all the time in order to be a good teacher. Students will ask unexpected questions, things will happen in the classroom that one didn't anticipate. Over-attention on details or over-planning will lead to the inflexible lesson. 4. Don't fear criticism focuses on your strength. Often our confidence depends on how we talk to ourselves. If a lesson goes badly or you receive negative feedback from a student, parent or observer, don't allow yourself to dwell on it for too long. Take negative feedback into account, if it's relevant helpful and accurate, and turn a negative into a positive helping you to not only build confidence, but also really improve your practice. 5. Act confident. A simply subtle change in your body language, or the way you use your voice can make you appear and feel far more confident. Body language says a lot. It affects how others see us, as well as how we see ourselves. Standing confidently even if we don't feel it, can boost your sense of self-confidence and possibly have a confident impact on students. People who are scared or unsure tend to slouch or cower, so walking tall will give you an air of confidence. Do you want to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course. Hence we can say confidence plays a huge role in teaching it to help to overcome negative self-perceptions, and recognize one's strengths in the classroom, as it will give student the feeling that you are well knowledge well aware and well versed, it will also help you to feel more happy and content after each lesson or session, which will build a sense of pride and self-worth which will lead to confidence level. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.